The following was recorded in front of a live studio audience at the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. This is the United Podcast Network. Hey everybody, this is The Ash Holes. Each week, they smoke a different cigar, sometimes the same cigar, but mostly different, and they give their honest impression. They always assign an official Ash Holes rating to that cigar. So, pull up a chair, light up, relax, be an Ash Hole too. It's very rewarding. Hello and welcome. Broadcasting live from the Jose Dominguez Cigar Studio above Two Guys Smoke Shop in Salem, New Hampshire. This is the Ash Hole Podcast and we are the Ash Holes. Today we've got some delightful news about the mayor of Flavortown. (laughs) We'll be diving into Christmas season with the top five Christmas movies and we're smoking today's pick. The Byron Petit Poema. It's a great Mm. Christmas gift for that cigar lover in your life. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've got a lot to talk about as far as this cigar goes today. So um, this, has everyone here smoked this before? Uh, Yeah. Okay. Uh, Yeah. Yes, absolutely. I mean, Byron's. uh, I've actually probably smoked this the most of the Byron's just because of the price entry point. Yes. Yeah. So the single for this... um, is 1999 for this this cigar and I think some people are a little even shocked at that price. However, what's very interesting about this cigar is, you know, I normally talk about the makeup of the cigar first. Uh everything about it is undisclosed. Mm-hmm. Wrapper, filler, binder, completely undisclosed and tasting notes on it would suggest that there potentially is some Cuban tobacco in there. That's that's an allegation that's, that's made. That's an allegation. Pretty it's, often. It's a rumor. Same thing with the Aladinos. Mm. And um, um, not as often, I feel like with Byron's. I. But there's, I mean, there's so much going the, on. The it. blend here is is unlike any cigar that I've smoked before. Um, and I'm still new to this, but I, I I haven't found anything with a similar flavor note to no, it. No, there really isn't anything um, there. <laughs> it, it has such a nice, subtle uh, sweetness to it. It reminds me of. Um, almost like cocoa baking powder. I don't know if that makes sense. I haven't even lit it, but I smoked two of these on Saturday, so I'm... What? Recently. Yeah, I did. You're a high roller. Well, it was Saturday, (laughs) and the Buckeyes were winning, so I was like, I need a celebration (laughs) cigar, so I got this, and then I shoveled the snow at the other shop, and my coworker was like, okay, you deserve one of these. I was like, I'm not going to say no. (laughs) What exactly is a Buckeye? I think we've been through this. It's a flower, right? It's a nut. It's a nut? Mm-hmm. That's not, not, not much tougher, I guess. I mean, a little bit. <laughs> Better than so, the flower. Better than the Look, flower. Look, I'm not saying our, our, our mascot's super, you know, tough, but... What is the mascot? The flower. The Buckeyes. Yeah, but what would oh, the Brut- mascot Brutus what it look like? Brutus the Buckeye. So, what's it look like? <laughs> it's a giant nut head. It is a giant nut. Okay. Yeah, it's not, so funny, yeah. That's, that's wild. It's a giant nut head, and he's awesome. Huh. So, and I'm not biased. At no. All. no. So... And I'm and I'm a little upset about what happened with the Michigan game canceling because Michigan's scared, but that's fine. Yeah, so yeah. it's it's COVID related. That's uh, okay. That's... Here's my beef: is like, yes, it is COVID related. However, we canceled our game against Illinois. Uh, Who Miami two weeks of ago. Ohio? I will come off the stage. Then. <laughs> I will come off the stage. So the game canceled against Illinois due to COVID in our on, on, on Ohio state and their players, coaches, everything. So we went to the Michigan state game minus 25 players and coaches. And it was a a whole slew of people, but we still played. Hmm. And Michigan is saying that they can't do that. And they're canceling the game. Now there's two. So when was the other game? When it was when we canceled, yeah, two weeks ago. Okay, so it wasn't even like so you know, a the, few months ago. The, it's like, yeah, no, it makes sense the now, next like, week we played. The next week, Ohio okay. State played Michigan State and destroyed them. If anyone wants so, to know, Sarah, when you say we, oh, what, what I, position do you so play? People are so salty about that. Couch. I say we because it's a part of. I, I got crap for it downstairs too. <laughs> it's literally just the team that I. Yeah, did people do that with the Patriots around here? Oh the, my uh, God, you have no idea. Are you the kicker? <laughs> I will kick you. <laughs> I will. So yes, he, we he have will be the a kicker. former professional athlete in the studio. <laughs> Let me just ask you, and just quickly, you guys won't be able to I, see this. It's off the stage. Yeah, totally off. When people think. like me or the fine folks on stage would say we, referencing, let's say, the Atlanta Falcons, whom you played for, would you look at them cross-eyed and go, what's this we shit? <laughs> Please, like... I have a standard policy of no judgment. 
Uh, oh, see, I he, like he's this guy. Than the rest Why don't you says, come up here? I no like judgment. this guy. Man, I, I feel like I'm at Planet Fitness right now. <laughs> I just, I just want to make my point about what this cancellation does, though, is it keeps Ohio State under the eligible requirement for a Big Ten championship. They said you have to play six games. We're at five. This was going to be number six. So, I mean, I'm not saying Michigan would be that dirty. This season just doesn't even count. We're crushing it, I'm sorry, you didn't think Michigan was dirty? I, I, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that they would do that intentionally the to try to keep Fab Ohio five. State out, <laughs> but that it reads like that because Ohio State put a team on the field this last week. It's probably Tom despite Brady's all fault. their COVID numbers. Drew so. Henson's fault. It's always <laughs> not Drew that Henson's any of our fault. listeners care about <laughs> none any of, of this. Do. Literally, none I just of them. I just had to get it off my chest because uh, so lots of cedar in. on this. <laughs> <laughs> Back to cigars, lots of cedar. Yeah, lots of cedar. I mm-hmm. mean, they we've said it a million times. People have been listening for a while, or really, Cigar Authority, or anywhere that Byron has been promoted. They do this whole process of a breathing, you know, an inhale, exhale with cedar Mm -hmm. in the process where it's like they go different types of cedar, different humidities. So there's a lot of cedar on Byron and uh, Atabay as well. Yeah. Uh, But it's it's more predominant, I find. There are even some Byrons down there. They have a cedar wrapping around the, Mm -hmm. the Disquindito has a cedar wrapping around it. So that's a really strong note you get on that cigar. Um, this one, I get a little, it compared to that, it's a little less, but it's still there. That's a pretty Mm -hmm. distinct marker of, of all these, uh, cigars that come through selected tobacco. Mm -hmm. Um, for me, Byron and my smoking experience so far has been the best cigar I've smoked no matter what size. They're all a little different, but I mean. So do you prefer Byron over Atabay? I do. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I like the Atabay, um, especially, something lighter if I want a morning smoke and I'm not quite ready to dive into this. Yeah, they're, but they're even, very distinct, so it's hard to put so them different. head to head. But when, I, when I talk yeah. about them, I call them sisters, right? Because they're, they're the same quality. You're looking at a really high-quality cigar, but their their flavor profiles are really different. And which sister is this? The older sister? I the do think the Byron sister? is the older sister, yeah. yeah it's definitely... It's more definitely, more it's, mature? It's down to business. You know, the Atabay is a little more artistic. It'd be like me and my sister, you know? It's, yeah, and I think the, the, the bandolero would be the middle child. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. It's, it's great. Or, but or, the, or the redheaded stepchild. Yeah. It's not quite as expensive. <laughs> bandolero is fantastic, are, too. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. enjoy those. The, the little uh, torpedo one, I forget Trevisos? which. Trevisos? Traviosos? Traviosos? Am I yeah, saying I think, that right? I think they all have kind of complicated names, too. Yeah, they are. It's, and it's hard to like figure out which one is which. And it's like, oh, it's, it's this one. Yeah. <laughs> it's the yeah. big the one. Shape. Yeah. The little one. Yeah. 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 Um, so that, you know, this is, and I'm still young in my smoking journey, but well, just this is fantastic. <laughs> so I also think for, for people, and part of the reason why we picked this cigar today is we're kind of talking about those who are cigar shopping for, for mm-hmm. that cigar lover in your life and you don't know exactly what to get them. Mm-hmm. Byron is a great, is a great cigar because even, yeah. even it has a bit of a darker wrapper. It's not, a, I wouldn't call it a full bodied cigar. I'd call it medium. Full flavored for sure. Full flavored, but it's but not. But it's not going to knock you out. And no. this is probably the strongest of the Byron's mm. uh, strength wise. And it's not like kick you in the teeth. You right. Know? Right. So if they're not sure what someone smokes, I don't feel hesitant about recommending this because I know it's not going to knock anybody over kind of mentality behind it. Yeah. And it's at a, a price point where it's like a gift, you know, it's like a good friend, Yeah, you know, $20. It's like, yeah, and you know, you don't want to go overboard, you know, yeah. over the top with like a box purchase or, and you don't want to sure. skimp. And so it's, yeah. you know, it's good. They come in really pretty jars um, that act as humidors too. Right. So um, that's a nice little. And I don't know, they're going to repackage those as well. Yeah. As yeah. They're switching right? all over to boxes. Yeah. To boxes. But those will be humidors, I believe as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The boxes are, which yeah. Which is very nice. The, the, I've been calling it like the granddad to this is the Apique Poema. And that's Epique more of a, a, a which peak, actually I think peak, is it a pique or a peak? A peak. And I think a that peak? came out uh, long after yeah. the Petit Poema. Mm-hmm. Which we had Petit Poema, Grand Poema, mm-hmm. and a peak Poema. That's, that's the size of a Churchill. So if you like yeah. this flavor and you want, you don't want it to end, I mean, it goes on. Go and for on. the bigger yep. one. Yeah, exactly. Smoke that for Thanksgiving. So, um, but yeah, this is this is a fantastic, fantastic smoke. So, so I mean, speaking of Christmas shopping, not yes. to get sidetracked, are <laughs> I mean, you all done with yours? I am. <laughs> That's actually a lie. I have, I have, I have, let's see, I've got two more things I have to get for two other people. But no, I started in uh, September. 
Oh, so wow. I'm not going to lie. Well, wow. it's like I would see something. I, I, I was thinking about starting at some point. I don't know. And, maybe I, in a and week I was or like, so. that's perfect. Like, I, I just want to give this to somebody. If only I had an occasion. Well, Christmas is coming up soon All enough. Right. So what, I just what, stockpiled. What percentage were you online versus mm. brick and mortar? Probably 50 50. 50 50. Yeah, mm. probably. And I normally would shop in person, but I don't want to go to the mall right now. It's no, a little it's crazy. everything's. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, I shop. I shop. I shop in person most of the time, but there was some stuff that was kind of unique. I couldn't get. There wasn't a storefront for it, so I had to. I had to go online, and I can't talk about it because it would give away the gift. So, <laughs> yeah, that's good. If mom's right. listening, <laughs> um, right. your family actually cares that you're on this show. Mm. Yeah, they watch yeah. every week. My, my mom has Facebook now to to watch. I don't so. think Just my family reason. knows I'm on this show. No, that's unfortunate. Do they just <laughs> not care about you. Or? No, they really don't. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> no Christmas fine. gifts for them then. Well, no Byron's. I've already bought all the Christmas gifts all online. <laughs> That's all online. Yeah. And it, so I thought I'd better get a jump on it because okay. shipping is a is disaster a, yeah. right yeah. now. And it really is. Yeah. I thought I was all done until my wife came to me and said, what do you want for Christmas? I said, nothing. <laughs> Why? Wow. Oh, no, I that, hate for that some answer. reason, it's an unacceptable answer. It yeah. is unacceptable. Because you're supposed to know what you want so that you haven't already I've been purchased. dealing with this yeah. for three weeks. <laughs> right. And so I'm like, what do I want? I don't want necessarily anything. No, so, so I keep looking through those. I type into Google, best gifts for men. <laughs> best for oh the guy who gosh. has everything. It's best true. for the gifts yeah. for the guy who wants nothing. But, I'm like, I don't want any of this shit. What do you yeah. want me to do? Right. And so all of a sudden, it becomes a task for you. Yeah. To find your own damn Ungrateful. Christmas present. Ungrateful. Like, lady, we've been together for 11 years. You should know by yeah. now. <laughs> well, that's not true, though. Because, like, so Cameron is a very practical person. He Tell the audience who Cameron, Cameron is. Cameron is my boyfriend, and he's a practical gift giver, and he's, he just, he'll, he'll want a gift that is practical, so right? Like, like, he, <laughs> I mean, like one of the things he asked for was, tires. was literally, <laughs> that's something he would say. And I'm like, I'm not getting you snow. I got like, you a mop. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Like, I, I just refused because I thing. wanted to be meaningful and, and loving, and I'm not going to get you snow tires. So like, you got him a copy yeah. of Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> yeah. Comes out December 10th. <laughs> yeah. Get him Today's. something that he de- won't really use. and yeah. No, but like, <laughs> yeah. this is the other thing. is he's, he's so set up because I love a lot of things. Like, I like cigars. I like cats. I like New Girl. I like all these fun niche things that Aired have a, a lot there. of... <laughs> a lot of goofy gifts that you could get. So I'm like, you, you're set coffee. Like, give me a fun coffee. Yeah, if you have a lot of interest. He does it. He does so many things and he enjoys them, but he doesn't love a lot. And I just have to find, yeah, except me, obviously. (laughs) I'm awesome. No, Um, I just have to find something that is meaningful and it makes it harder when you don't have that thing. Like Mm -hmm. it's not video games. It's not a sports team. It's, it's hard. So, what yep. they're, they're supposed to be meaningful? I don't even so, know what to dictionary. say to you right now. <laughs> yeah. the the air silence. Meaning. Air silence. Yeah. <laughs> Philosophy books. <laughs> oh, God. A cigar question. A cigar, oh. question, cigar question from, from our from live audience. audience. Yes. So, um, as you mentioned a few times, Sarah. As you mentioned a few times, Sarah. Um, you're just beginning in a cigar, you know, smoking issue. Yes. What do you do with your spit? Cigar spit. All right, what do so, I do with uh, Let me translate the question because not everyone. <laughs> okay. Actually, no one heard that but us. <laughs> okay. Jamal asked, what do you do when you're just starting out smoking a cigar mm-hmm. with that extra buildup of saliva that comes into your mouth? Yep. He went and grabbed a, a coffee a cup. Cigar spit. And it's almost like he's dipping right now. <laughs> okay. But that's actually a really good question yeah. because, yeah, you do get kind of yeah. – so there are certain saliva. tobaccos actually that will, they're designed to make you salivate more. Um, uh, Davidoff actually includes some of that in their blends, depending on the certain cigar. I, I've i never, I, I guess if I'm outside, I'll kind of spit off to the side sometimes. But if I'm smoking inside it, I kind of just suck it up. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's not going to hurt you. Yeah. It's- um, I've seen, you've got a cup, right? I've seen that a couple times. And um, there's a lot of variability. You see people who are wet cigar smokers oh, versus yeah. dry cigars. They like take smokers. the cigar. You can see the shimmer on the end of the cigar. <laughs> right. Mine is like pretty much bone dry because you know, my dad, my dad likes to. Anyways, so. And some like to chew on the cigar. Mm-hmm. Yep. Does that answer your question? It does. It's a variation. It's like yeah. Trial yeah. 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 Trial and error. Yeah. Figure out what it works. Smoking, especially smoking outside when it's not, you know, there's not eight inches of snow on the ground makes that a little easier 
to, to deal with the extra spit because you can kind of just lean over in the uh, grass and, for, and fortunately we're in a judgment free zone so <laughs> I'm, I'm not judging you spitting into that cup yeah like, and the cleaning uh, guy comes tomorrow so don't worry yeah right on the floor is fine <laughs> yeah, actually you know what just spit on oliver there you go yeah. he deserves Start it Start spitting on the two guys staff how about he that? likes it <laughs> what are the odds oliver nevo <laughs> Um, so I just want to talk about our December lineup um, oh, nice. again real quick, just because we do have a kind of a fun December. Um, next week we have the guest, uh, Jim Price from CLE Cigars. We'll be smoking our Corojo 1118 with him. Always a good guest. He's been on a few times Yeah, I mean, I'm really excited. Mm -hmm. I've talked to him a lot in the shop. That 1118 is one of my oh, favorite so shapes. Mm -hmm. that, that's... The, I have a special love for this cigar because when I first started listening to the Cigar Authority, just as a listener before I worked here, my dad and I split a box of those based oh, really? on the care package oh. from the Cigar Authority. Yeah. So that that I have a special uh, appreciation for that cigar. And then the week after that, we're doing an Ash Holes gift exchange <laughs> where we're going to draw names out of a hat and we have to pick the, the, the cigar for oh my the God. other person. I thought I was done after I bought my own present. Now I got to get something well, else? No. I mean, the, like, you the just worst have to part pick, for you, Ed, is... Pick out a cigar for all the... Aaron, Sarah, and myself are on Cahoots, so whoever gets you, yeah. we all know exactly which one we're giving you. Acid? Yep. <laughs> That's so mean. I, I was going to go that. with like the Desombre Emperor. Oh, my gosh. Well, it's it like could get interesting. like 11 and a half by 90 or something. Um, <laughs> I actually like that better. Good call. Yeah. So, yeah, we have to draw names out of that, and that will be our smoke. The reason why there's only four cigars in our lineup and there's five weeks in December is because that week we don't know what we're smoking mm, based on surprise. what the other person what, is picking. When do we draw on these names? Yeah. Uh, mm. Either after the show today or next week. So it depends. Well, I need time to, you need time. to get it mail order. <laughs> well, I do all of my shopping mail yeah, order. Yeah. You have a pile of cigar wrappers down there. You could just get it here. Uh, Add it to the you pile. Get order from two call in, cigars. Call into the Nashua store <laughs> call, tomorrow. Just to give some more work to Barry. <laughs> no, I'm like giving more work to there Sarah. There you go. Yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah, when I work better. in Nashua. Hi, I need to place an order. Oh my gosh. I'll Ed. figure it I'm out. I'm hanging up on you if you call. <laughs> um, and the final week of December, we are going to be talking about our cigar of the year. Um, and we will be smoking last year's Cigar of the Year in honor of uh, of the new one coming out. Yep. So Stick with tradition. I, yeah. I got an important question. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You know, i I never been to Ohio. Okay. Uh, do they call it Yankee Swap there, or is it White Elephant? Or what's White the, Elephant? Yeah. I think those are yeah. slightly different things. Yeah. White I've never heard of Yankee Swap. I don't know what that home is. Yeah. And bringing in when a Yankee Swap, you're actually purchasing something yeah. and being disappointed either way. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a disappointment thing, but it, my wife decided, even though we're doing Zoom Christmas, guess what? We're still doing the oh, Yankees oh, walk. Oh, gosh, that's 10 Wait, times okay, worse. so what's the difference between a white elephant and... and a white elephant is, is an item from your home, I believe, that you're oh. kind of re-gifting. And okay. A Yankee swap I didn't know is, that. I don't think something. it has Absolutely. to be. Yeah, I, I think. I've I mean, always, done, I've always done white elephant as you buy the gift and you wrap it blindly and then someone picks yep. out of a pile of Yeah, that's, gifts, that's right? a Yankee swap. Oh, okay. So, so you know what? that white elephant. Why don't, uh, during the break, we'll look it up and we'll see what the actual difference is. Very and there um, are different controversies around Yankee yes. swaps even. So we'll discuss that after the break and we'll do our top five and hear some delightful news. Only Great Leaf makes great cigars. Aganor Salif stands out because of the distinctive mouth-watering flavors of the Corojo 99 and the Criollo 98 seeds, cultivated by Cuban agronomists on the best lands in Jalapa and Esteli, Nicaragua. When you smoke one of the JFR, JFR Lunatic, Guardian of the Farm, or Casa Fernandez cigars, you will experience the unique taste and aroma that makes Aganor Salif different than any other tobacco in the world. Smoke one today and enjoy the signature flavor of Aganor Salif. Hello, cigar aficionados. This is Klaus Kellner from Davidoff Cigars. I invite you to taste the elements with Davidoff Escurio, Nicaragua, and Yamasa. From water comes originality. Savor the sweet and spicy originality of the Davidoff Escurial tobaccos born by the rains of Bahia, Brazil. From fire comes intensity. Enjoy the bittersweet aromas and fiery intensity of the Davidoff Nicaragua. From earth comes complexity. Taste the earthy flavors and complex spices that are unique to the red soil of the Yamasa region in Dominican Republic. 
only Davidoff Master Blenders could take the power of nature and blend it into a range of exceptional cigars, each element making each cigar a unique experience. Water, fire, earth, flavors that have risen from the very world itself. I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. Davidoff Cigars, cigar adventures to a wider world. Looking for a mild cigar? Don Rafael is just that. Solidly constructed and it offers up a mellow experience that holds a ton of universal appeal. This is just one of the reasons for Don Rafael's enormous success. Looking to get your friend into smoking cigars? The Don Rafael cigar is absolutely the right choice. The brand originally set out to outdo the competition, but for the price, there is no competition. You can't beat Don Rafael, it outsells them all. Don Rafael can be enjoyed any time of the day, all day, and cigar after cigar. The Don Rafael has a smooth, mellow aroma that will not linger. Draped in a seamless golden brown Connecticut wrapper, Dominican long fillers, and a Dominican binder complete the blend. Expect earthy notes with some hints of cedar throughout. And as far as quality everyday blends go, for a mild cigar smoker, it doesn't get more satisfying than this. Remember this, Don. Don Rafael. Agent Room 4 Nicaragua Maestro. Named Cigar Aficionado's number one cigar of the year with a 96 rating, is a complex Nicaraguan puro carefully blended by Rafael Nodal and made by A.J. Fernandez. As Cigar Aficionado described it, every puff is an overture of flavors that's at times heavy and rich with notes of dark chocolate and wood, and other times subtle and understated with hints of fine caramel and toasted almonds. Treat yourself to an aging Room 4 Nicaragua today. Surgeon General warning, cigar smoking can cause cancers of the mouth and throat even if you do not inhale. Bohemian is the original Brazilian big ring gauge cigar with the unfinished foot, curly tailed head and value, value, value. There are Brazilian reasons to buy and smoke Bohemian and here are just a few. Created in the Cuban tradition, this lush, dark Brazilian Maduro leaf surrounds a five-year-old Sumatra binder with Dominican and Nicaraguan well-aged long filler leaves. So, what you do expect from a Bohemian? A departure from the conventional. A flavorful journey into sweet, nutty, almost caramel finish. Bohemian, the original, unconventional cigar. Take a journey. When was the last time you experienced something for the first time? Curiosity drives discovery. Discover exceptional tobaccos aged to perfection with Balmoral Inejo XO. Born from passionate curiosity, Balmoral invites you to discover the optimal balance of sophisticated complexity and smoothness. Each meticulously crafted, extensively aged Inejo XO cigar blend is the result of a relentlessly global search for the top 5% of select premium tobaccos available including our exclusive signature Brazilian Mata Norte. Crowned with a sun-grown Brazilian Arapiaca wrapper, Balmoral Inejo XO embraces your palate with complex notes of cedar, cacao, and peppery spices that finish with a smooth, underlying natural sweetness. We invite you to discover and experience Balmoral Inejo XO today. And we're back live in the Jose Dominguez Cigar Studio above Two Guys Smoke Shop in Salem, New Hampshire. We're smoking the Byron Petit Poema. And if you don't already follow us on social media, find us on Facebook as The Ash Holes, on Twitter at The Ash Holes, and on Instagram at Ash Holes Radio. Uh, if you're new and just listening, hit that subscribe button on YouTube. And now, in very recent news, it's important to at least subscribe on one of the podcast platforms uh, between Apple Podcasts, Spotify, uh, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, and Podbean because it sounds like Facebook and YouTube might be shutting down uh, podcasts that don't uh, that advertise their own products, uh, not through them. We'll get taken off, yeah. So, particularly with Facebook right now and YouTube, we'll see in the future. We think we're safe there no, for now. Yeah, nothing's happened. Who yet. knows? But I mean, if you notice, hey, there's a week then you don't see us, then yeah, check the podcast. We'll, we'll make a post. We never miss a week. <laughs> well, yeah, we don't. We'll make a post on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and all that. But we're hearing the murmurs that if 
you are benefiting if you have ads or anything that's not <clears throat> run through Facebook or YouTube, they might potentially be pulling those podcasts and yeah. uh, platforms down. So right now, again, there's no word on that, but we are encouraging people to check out uh, the the Apple podcast and the other platforms uh, just to keep listening. Uh, and I'm sorry, you may not be able to see our faces in the future. I know it's lovely. <laughs> You're welcome. But, um, <laughs> uh, but oh, yeah. And for the cliffhanger, we looked up the rules oh, for yeah. <laughs> Yankee Swap versus White Elephant. Apparently in a White Elephant, you someone ungraps the gifts, and the next person in the order gets to either take that gift or unwrap another gift. Mm -hmm. When in a Yankee Swap, you both unwrap one. So the first person unwraps, and then the next person unwraps, and they get to either swap the known gift versus where the white elephant is an unknown. Yes. So that is a the, little uh, bit more chance. The ruling here on So in the Yankee Ashes Swap, podcast. you always get garbage. It's, yeah. it's awful. <laughs> mm. and, yeah. and if it's a, a mixed gender, if there's men and women, the men will always lose because the women get candles, and it's just awful. Guys like candles. <laughs> no, they don't. No. I, and I, no. I don't want to end That's up... That's why we like cigars. Ben likes candles. I, I don't want to end up with the bath beads either. Yeah, it, it's like this. Like, hey, get something that, Do you hear this? It's always something that Everyone women want. Everyone is so ungrateful of you. Swap. Everyone should just be thankful it's the holiday season. Oh Dang. my God, I smell like lilac. It's yeah. beautiful. You don't, you don't like a nice bath bomb <laughs> with, a, with a nice uh, candle going off and the lights off? That sounds like a great night. It's, it's very relaxing. That's what Ben does. You got Brazzers.com on your iPad. <laughs> I'm, I'm moving sorry, did on. I go too far? So yeah, way how too far. is this cigar <laughs> developing for everybody? Oh, so good. I yeah. mean, it's so it was very sweet in the beginning. A lot of cedar. The cedar is still there, obviously, um, but getting more of uh, wood, mm -hmm. uh, like a nice oak mm -hmm. kind of vanilla-ish taste, which is the oak. Mm -hmm. Well, very nice. You know, for me, um, the Yankee Swap limit on mine is $25, so okay. I'm going to get one of these. No. Yeah. <laughs> and nobody else in my family is going to want That's it. That's the way to go. Yeah. So you'll get to have it. Yeah. yeah it's yourself. worth a try. <laughs> ben, what about you? You're, you're kind of... Kind of what, Sarah? New-ish to cigars like I am. <laughs> How does this one read for you? Uh, when I smoke this cigar, and this is the second time I've smoked this cigar, all I can think about is silk. It's it's a super silky, smooth. Yeah. It is smooth. very smooth yeah. cigar. Huh. And as Aaron was talking about earlier, he's talking about the strength of it. You, you almost don't notice because it's mm -hmm. so smooth yeah. as you take an inhale of it. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yep, it's absolutely fantastic. I don't think there's anything wrong with this cigar. Yeah. So I after mean, it's, it's these, already got five years age on. I was going to say after so these are like, rolled, yeah. it's aged five to seven years. So that could have been rolled in 2015, between 2013 and 2015. I mean, you're looking at a properly aged cigar already, and I think that. It, that is where you're getting that that smoothness, that silky mm -hmm. experience as you're smoking it. So, mm. yeah, this is still one of my favorites. Yeah. So, um, potentially Cigar of the Year contender. What? Who said that? Um, Contenda. Yeah, but I, I and I like this size because at, at in work, you know, you're you're bouncing at least down there. I'm bouncing around a lot, and I don't always have time to smoke a long one ooh, mm. without. Um, interruption and so this is the perfect size and for this this show it's kind of the perfect size yep. to be smoking so yeah fantastic um so it's christmas season in case anyone didn't catch that in the first half of the, uh, <laughs> half of the general. episode and i think we have a pretty uh, interesting topic for our top five today <laughs> Aloha! Today's top five is brought to you by Five Five Cigars. Choose from the mild white label, the medium strength red label, or the full bodied and full flavor blue label. Series Five Five has it all. Five Five equals the perfect 10, and that's what you get every time. The only thing better than a Five Five cigar is two of them, so you can share with a friend. And now, here's today's top five list. So. Because it's Christmas season, we should discuss the top five Christmas movies ever. So, highly contentious. <laughs> okay, we're starting <laughs> off. Probably. There's going to be a fight. Yeah, it usually is. I'm getting real tired of those. Jamal's but... got my back. Okay, get <laughs> out of here. All right, so I'm writing down one, two, three, four, five, because we keep running into this. What is the actual number? Yeah. But what would be your number one, Aaron? My number one? I or like your one of your tops because I feel like that's how we've had to do these when we have debates. I mean, I'll go with my number one is a Christmas story. I mean, that's I've watched okay. it hundreds of times. I okay, mean, that's, that's always number one for me. All right, what about you, Ed? I don't like Christmas. 
<laughs> so so on brand. The movies kind of make me a little sad inside. Oh, you're but, always sad inside, though. Uh, it turns out Aaron's right. If I'm going to watch something, I, I love seeing people put their eyes out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's funny all the way through. Okay. Mm-hmm. I mean... I don't know if you could remake that. The Chinese restaurant scene. Far- no. oh, right. Right. Yeah. Rah, rah, the bowling. Rah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That probably yeah. doesn't play anymore. Nope. Nope. Not anymore. Ben, what about you? Like, what's one of your... Well, that that's at the top of the list, certainly. But for me, and one that was always popular in my house, because for some reason, uh, my dad decided to annoy the shit out of the rest of us <laughs> on Christmas. And... I Every night we'd have, to, we'd have to read some of, uh, not read, we, he would read a Christmas to us Carol? a Christmas Carol. Mm-hmm. I like that one. And we would, so which one, though? There's so many versions. Well, so he'd the read the book. Itself. And then in, I think, 1993, The Muppets came out with The Muppet Christmas Carol. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> which, honestly, for my money, is the best Christmas Carol. It is Muppets. Good. And I, mean, I think I have to Michael watch it every Caine year actually does the school. best job <laughs> as Ebenezer Scrooge. Even mm-hmm. better okay. than George C. Scott or... Whomever else might have Jim played Carey. the most famous. Although he can Jim Carrey was not good at it. Yeah, no, no, that was terrible. That one was, was weird. Bad. We had to watch that in eighth grade, and honestly, Kermit. kids were scared. It, it's, Come on, it was Kermit freaky. singing Christmas songs. Fair. After all, there's only one more sleep till Christmas. Wow, <laughs> he does that Dang. so well. But I've seen it like a thousand it, times. It beats yeah. the chipmunk singing Christmas oh, music. God. That is rough. That's Need a hula hoop. I can't even. Oh, I can't even close. You can't even so, go that yeah, high. Yeah, because the guys are like super deep voice. Oh, I can get that high, up. Sarah. So don't do it. So we've got so a Christmas story, a Christmas Carol. Those are those are high for me. This is really out there. I don't know if anyone has watched this, but has anyone seen Christmas with the Cranks? Oh. Yeah. I yeah, like that one a lot. And I it doesn't even have to be on the list, but for a Christmas movie that's not overly in your face about Christmas, I really like that movie. Is that Tim Allen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. 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 Jamie Lee Curtis. It's awesome. Yeah. So it's not as good as the Santa Claus. The Santa Claus. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Which is not great, but no, it's, it's not Tim Allen Christmas. So yeah, is our number one a Christmas story? Well, we uh, still have more of the list. We yeah, can, we do. Because I that's really high go. for me. Now, Ben knows I I like the year without a Santa Claus. <clears throat> I'm Classic, Mr. Yep. Heat Miser. Heat Miser and Snow Wizard, right? Oh, yeah. Is it Snow Wizard? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I like that one. What about Elf? Elf? It's, no, absolutely right. not. Ed, I Gloves think we should, just rem- we should just remove you. I despise Will Ferrell. <laughs> Why? Like, I don't necessarily like him, but the movie's funny. I don't funny. think he's funny. I think, it, I think the movie's funny. It's, it's okay. Ed's removed I, from this topic. His other five. stuff? I'm I making an executive that, decision. No. He's going to hate them all. Ooh, Francisco, that's fun to say. Mm. It, it's a very Not quotable movie. even a crack in that song. What about... No, I don't like that man. <laughs> what about <laughs> Die Hard? Not a Christmas movie. Yes, oh, it is. But it Ooh. is. No, it's not. No, no, it's not. It is I not. think it is. Gr- what about Gremlins? Home Alone. I would say it's not either. Home Alone. <laughs> Home, Home Alone. A hundred percent. That's on my list. Home, Home Alone is on my list. For sure. Yes. Because the first you, one. You have to understand with Die Hard, none of it... It being Christmas has no bearing on the plot whatsoever. Well, what they a, wouldn't have had a party if it weren't for Christmas. Yes. It, Fair. It, it wouldn't have, have happened. happened. They there wouldn't have even been a Die Hard if it wasn't time. Christmas. They had the party because they closed the deal. Not just because it was Christmas. They closed <laughs> yeah. the deal, which is why they had that party. It just happened to so be Christmas. So you're saying time. it's just coincidental. Oh, yeah. Gosh. <laughs> it's not ironic. It's coincidental. So the only ha- Christmas part of that movie is when he's but, but Bruce Carl's Will- brother and goes. <laughs> they had the party business to close the deal, but Bruce Willis now wouldn't I have been have there if it wasn't Christmas. Gun. I, no, he wouldn't have been there if Holly Gennaro, his wife, had kept his last name. The gloves are and off. didn't invite him. <laughs> the gloves are off. Yeah. So we'll have another episode about the debate of Die Hard. Uh, Gosh. Yeah. Um, Home Alone's on there for me. Home yeah. I love Home yeah. Alone. Yeah. I'm okay with that one. Yeah. Uh, Jingle All the Way is actually, it would be number five for me. Really? It's a, really? It's just a funny movie. Really? Yeah. And Sinbad's Sh- in it. Sinbad and, you Sh- and Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Schwarzenegger, big cigar smoker. It's just a Bear. funny movie. It really is. That's true. Right. I mean, do you have to bring up It's a Wonderful Life? I'm sur- I like that one. That's, that's on my list. I'm surprised no one brought up the one that I think is massively overrated, which I'll get a lot of <laughs> shit for this, Christmas Vacation. Yeah, I don't uh, feel like that's too overrated. I don't yes. care about it. Finally, no, I found my spirit. National yes. vacation, great, awesome. Christmas vacation, European yeah. vacation, it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. Christmas vacation, not I'm very writing good. all of these. Vegas down. vacation, we've got more than five in case <laughs> anyone wants to keep track. Mm-hmm. Um, so number five, number five. Um, what else? Would have my list? It sounds like it's Elf. Ugh. Oh, <laughs> what about Scrooged? Scrooge is good. Scrooged. Okay, there's uh, like 500 Christmas movies. We can't name them all. We just need. 
the top five. Scrooge what about really the animated? Like, what about the animated ones? Yeah. Uh, Mupp- uh, Mickey like Mouse what? Christmas Carol? No, uh, like Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Rudolph and they're all the stop motion. Reindeer. Yeah, those are terrible. What about Charlie Brown Models. with that sad little tree? <laughs> Uh, Charlie Christmas Brown Christmas, Christmas Story. Christmas. Didn't they get one? It of is a classic. Didn't they get a Charlie Brown tree for Rockefeller Center this year? Dude, it was <laughs> such a bad trick. And there was an owl in it that they had to save. Did you see that? The, the little baby owl was like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> 2020's been something else. <laughs> really has, that man. poor owl, yeah. Um, but mo- I think most of those are kind of bad. Okay, the, but the, there's the yeah. like 60s yeah. claymation. And uh, here's another one that drives me up a fucking wall. <laughs> I hate it. I never understood how it's really Christmas related. Mm-hmm. Frosty. Frosty. Yeah, no. It, what and the it's, hell? it doesn't make any sense. No one's it's like about they've known him for like a day Christmas. and they're crying over it melting. So. It's like you've known him for a day. So That's you agree so sad. that Frosty's terrible. It's not it shouldn't be a Christmas movie. No, no, it shouldn't like, be a my movie. best friend. It it's like you just I'm just made setting them. this out. All your takes are terrible. Yeah. Oh, that and Polar Express. Can't stand Polar oh, Express. I'm absolutely it. hate it. I, I like Polar Express. I hate it. Had the book when I was a little kid, seemed cool. Night, came out Nightmare before. before Christmas. That's it's a, a Halloween movie. movie. Yeah. It yes. is but it's well, Christmas. You you watch it between It's in the title. Yeah. <laughs> Set the title. So number five. Oh, here's another one we forgot. Oh my word! I'm sorry. This is a good one. You'll appreciate me adding this to the list. Bad Santa. Oh yeah, eh. that's a good movie. Eh. What? Eh. eh. Number six. You want some sandwiches? Number six. <laughs> number six is Bad Santa. I can live without that. All one, right. Yeah. What's the final answer? Uh, we don't have an answer because you guys oh, are just yeah. throwing out God. titles. So I think number five is definitely Elf. No. Well, you're going to disagree okay with, with his there. entire yeah. I like Elf. Yeah. I think number four should be Home Alone. No. I'm okay with that, too. Okay. <laughs> and you're getting overruled yeah. on everything today. And I think number three, A Christmas Carol? Muppets? Christmas Carol? I'm all in. I, I don't... I, mean, I, just, I don't hate it. Okay. Yeah. I'll support Ben That's all right. on that. Yeah. Who is it narrated by? Does anyone remember? Uh, Gonzo? Gonzo and... Rizzo. Rizzo the Rat. I, I, it was literally watched the other day because <laughs> I work in a school. We do these things. That's true. That's true. Um, number two. Uh, I really like it's, it's a Wonderful, wonderful life. life. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's it's number two on my life. list. So you, did you say it's good? Yeah, it, yeah. That's like. Okay. So and this cigar smoking in that it, one, too. Isn't that like suicidal thoughts during the holidays? Yeah, season? absolutely. Like it's right up your alley. <laughs> yeah. Uh, financial ruin and suicide. That's 2020. So right. <laughs> our number, it's, it's future. That's our number one. <laughs> Uh, oh, Christmas Story. Is that is that? Yeah, it? No. I think a it's a Christmas good. Story. I think it you should try okay. Put your eye out. Oh, yeah. fudge. Oh, I could probably fudge. quote the entire movie. So, <laughs> the yeah. final answer is number five, Elf. Number four, Home Alone. Number three, A Christmas Carol Muppets edition. Number two, It's a Wonderful Life. And number one, A Christmas Story. Right. I, I'm okay with that list. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the one where the kid stuck to the pole? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. I love that yeah. one. Oh, okay. So, so it's officially number one because that's yeah. signed on. I so. triple dog dare you. <laughs> Slight breach of etiquette. <laughs> 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 it's a triple dare. It's a good scene about uh, washing your mouth out with soap. Yes. Mm. She used life for. Well, now mm. that I am uh, in a delightful news uh, mood about all of, <laughs> yeah. all of this Christmas What, uh, what do you talk. want? Some delightful news? I need delightful some news. more delightfulness in my life. Yes. Are you tired of the news claiming the end of the world? Yes. It goes something like this. Real wrath of God type stuff. Fire and brimstone coming down from the skies. Rivers and seas boiling. Forty years of darkness, earthquakes, volcanoes. The dead rising from the grave. Human sacrifice, dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria. Enough, I get the point. Well, it's time for some delightful news. Brought to you by Cuban Delight Cigars. Okay. So you know. <laughs> okay. I already love this one. I know. <laughs> that I don't care for Will Farrell. Oh, my God. Yep. He's not in the news. No. I hate Tom Hanks. He's what? not in the I news. Hate Tom Why are we I can understand reading? the Will Farrell thing. Not a, he's not everyone's cup of tea. Yeah, I get yeah, that. I get that. Why the hate for Tom Hanks? Sanctimonious, pompous <laughs> prick. Have you met him? I know. He doesn't seem that way. Like, interviews? No. Uh, no. Listen, I, I, I remember like him. Splash. I remember him when he was in a dress. Yep. And hanging around with a slobbering dog. Ah, uh, yes. So, bo- Bosom so, Buddies and uh, Turner and Hooch. If yeah. anybody okay. is curious, this is not our delightful but, news. <laughs> On the same top ten list of people I don't like, (laughs) somebody has made the news. And this delightful news 
This um, on March 27th, as businesses across the U.S. were starting to feel the devastating effects of pandemic-related closures, that's not the delightful part. <laughs> Guy Fieri started the Restaurant Employee Relief Fund. The vast majority of the money he raised, where's the rest going, came after personal pleas to the likes of Moe Hennessy, USA, PepsiCo, and Uber Eats, whose sponsorship has collectively helped roughly 43,000 people receive $500 grants. The host of Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives has also produced a documentary, Restaurant Hustle, Hustle 2020, spotlighting the challenges the industry continues to face. It airs on the Food Network in December, which is also when the self-appointed mayor of Flavortown <laughs> opens his delivery-only chain, Guy Fieri's Flavortown Kitchen, oh, in yeah. almost 200 locations. A grant receiver tweeted, You can say whatever you want about Flavortown, but the man helps others. <laughs> so you can say whatever you want. About Guy Fieri. He's a snazzy he's, dresser. But yeah. he helps others. He's mm -hmm. he's not particularly well liked. He's not like I don't know. I don't get the hate. He's kind of I don't eh. get it. Like he's he originally just from Ohio, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> he is from Ohio. Is he? Uh, he, he was born that in Columbus. that explains why people Notice are kind of like eh, that, about him. That in well, ben is but no, I think what he's doing is great. I do too. Like, absolutely. So, There's no bad food if you dump donkey sauce on it. <laughs> so up until March, I was a waitress and that like I know people who have received yeah, I mean, the relief what's fund. That's to awesome. The industry right now is it's freaking delightful. Rough. So absolutely. And freaking Fran, delightful. You may not know it's like this. Twenty one and a half million dollars. Yeah. Raised. Twenty one like, and a half million dollars he raised. Don That's awesome. Donkey sauce does not contain any oh real donkey. <laughs> False advertising. <laughs> All right, we need to rate this thing. Yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah, we, know, that, we gotta get tough, off this but. stage. <laughs> oh, are, we, are we going back on we the just, rails? We just need to get up, yeah. you off the stage, particularly today. All right, uh, ninety-five. Wow, that's pretty high for you. Mm. Uh, it's a very good cigar. Okay. It's a size that I particularly enjoy. It is, yeah. What about you, Aaron? Uh, ninety-eight. Mm. Ooh, yeah, I, I mean say. it's 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 not my favorite Byron, but gosh, it's yeah, it's up there. every every puff is just like oh, this is so good. So it's it's ninety eight. Ben yeah. in the corner. I got to go with ninety nine because it's the best cigar mm. I've ever had. Until I have a better wow. cigar. Wow. Mm. Okay. I can't. The uh, best ever. Check out the Grand Poema. Ever. <laughs> wow. And I'm at a ninety eight as well. Um, I the only reason, and I don't even know if you can make this a reason is I just don't want it to end. And now that. We have the larger size. I could just smoke that. But Grab a Grand Paloma. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's a 97.5. I think that's the highest we've had since I've been here for a, mm, a rating. Right. But <laughs> the, it's an excellent cigar. If you're shopping for somebody Sorry. and you're not quite sure what to get them this Christmas, this is a great, this is a great stick. 1999 yeah. uh, to kind of dip your toes into the Byron world. You get the experience. You get the, the quality and the flavor. It's it's an incredible smoke. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Bruce made me laugh in the middle of the I year. heard you laugh. Yeah. <laughs> he said, what Girl Scout it? cookies don't have real Girl Scouts in them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> More false advertising. That's, there you go. <laughs> All right. Well, 97.5 for the Ashles is really, really high. Um, tune in next week as we welcome Jim Price from CLE Cigars to the show. You know the drill. Post your Byrons to uh, Facebook or Instagram. Tag us and hashtag the brand to enter our giveaway. Until then, you've been listening to the Ashles broadcasting from the Jose Dominguez Cigar Studio above Two Guys Smoke Shop in Salem, New Hampshire. Happy Christmas shopping. We Merry will see you next week. <laughs> Merry fucking Christmas. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs>Expressed by the hosts, guests, or callers of this program do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe, the United Podcast Network, its partners or affiliates.